Excuse me. Do you have any change? I'm sorry? Do you have any change? Um, yeah, I do. It's only a couple dollars, but sorry. That's all Thank I got. You. I appreciate it. No problem. Are you hungry? Uh, you have food? I do. I have water, too. I know it's super hot outside. You don't need it? No, it's okay. You can have it. You sure? Yeah, I just live a couple blocks down, so I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know if you would really want, but I have like an extra croissant for you. I just got it right now. Really? Yeah, of course. Thank you so much. You're welcome. If you don't mind me asking, what are you doing out here? It's just been a really tough few months. So honestly, it's really hard for me to talk about when I think about it because like I felt like I really found the right person and she, like she left me for somebody else and she took it like everything that I ever worked for Aww. like I lost my house I lost my job I'm so sorry do you mind? I'm gonna sit next to you okay <sighs> I got nothing but time like she like, we were together for five years. Really? I'm so sorry. How long ago did this happen to you? It's been, I've been, it's been four months now. Wow. Do you have family out here or friends? Do you have a place to stay? I mean, I felt like I did, but when, like, times got tough, everybody just left, you know? And it's just been me, and I've just been out here trying to survive. Well, have you been looking for a job? I mean, I've been trying. It's been super tough, though. Like, before all of this, like, I was super into stocks. Like, I used to make a lot of money in stocks and crypto. But then, like, when my wife left me, I just got super depressed. And, you, you just kind of, like, gave it, like, you didn't have the, the drive to continue. Yeah, it's just been so hard. Yeah, yeah. No, I understand. And, like... It's crazy that you're taking the time out of your day to like hear this because nobody, nobody takes the time out of their day to like just like give me a chance, you know? No, I understand. I mean, people walk right past people who are, you know, struggling and act like they're not even human beings. But I I, you know, it's actually I do have a friend who's looking for an assistant. Um, if you're interested, I could give him a call. For real? Yeah. You would do that? Of course, but you you can't make me look bad, so you have to make sure that you'll be able to show up on time and everything, but I could definitely put in a good word for you. What type of job is it? Um, so you brought up stocks, which is what reminded me. Um, I'm not exactly sure what he does, but he owns a lot of businesses. Yeah. So he just needs someone who can make phone calls for him. Um, oh, I could do that. Do some paperwork. Oh, I could do that. That, that shouldn't yeah. be too bad. Okay, here, let me give him a call. Wait, are you from here? I'm from Sacramento, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Jasmine. Jasmine, I'm Nate. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I appreciate you, like, taking the time of your day to try to help me. Yeah, of course. This has been so hard. And I just can't. Uh, I, honestly, I didn't know how much longer I could just survive out here. No, trust me. I understand. Like, even for me, it's really hard. Gas is almost $10 a gallon now. Like, I don't have a car, so I wouldn't know. But oh, yeah. I'm feeling <laughs> Well, you're not missing out on much. <laughs> okay, let me give my friend a call. <sighs> Is Subway still selling five dollar foot long? Yeah. Hi. Um. So I actually, this is crazy. This is so random. But I just met this really nice man. What was your name again? Nate. Nate. Um. His name is Nate. Um. He's struggling and he's looking for a job and he's he's very well spoken. I feel like he he had told me he had gone through some things but um, he pretty much he's just looking for a job and I feel like he might be a really good fit for who you're looking for, an assistant. Awesome. Yeah, I do. I think he'd be awesome. Can 
Um, he's not working right now, but he has, um, he previously was doing stock, so I feel like he has some back, yeah, he has, he has some good background. Um, maybe I could set up an interview for him or a time for him to come in. Of course, absolutely. Okay. 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 If you want to talk to him. Hello? Yes. Hey, Nate, how are you today? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Kier was telling me a lot of great things about you, that you were looking for a job as well. Yeah, I am. Okay, okay, great. And then what were you doing before before this? Oh, before this, I was heavily into, like, stocks and crypto. Oh, wow. Okay, so you really financial, you know, literate. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. So right now, I mean, I do have a car rental company, and what I'm looking for is a, um, I need an assistant and somebody that can wash cars and deliver them. You think that would be a good fit for you? Uh, yeah, definitely. When can I start? Um, so what I'll do, uh, I'll have you just come in for an interview first. Okay. Uh, and then just pretty much, you pretty much got the job, but just want to come in so you can see if you can it could be a good fit. You know, if you, it'll work out for you. Let's say tomorrow. Can you come in tomorrow? Uh, definitely. I could come in tomorrow. What time? Uh, tomorrow. Let's do eleven o'clock. Okay, I appreciate it. Okay, let me ask you. Are you do you have a driver license? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, great. And are you driving right now, or? No, I don't have a car. Okay, and where are you would, located? Would where that be a live? problem? Uh, I mean, our office is in uh in Culver City. Where do you live? Yes, where do I live? Um, just. Tell him that you live in North Hollywood and I live in North Hollywood. Okay. Okay, great. So I think Tia lives around there. I think maybe she can uh, kind of bring you tomorrow. She's yeah, that works. Okay, great. Perfect. All right, Nate, well, I'm excited to meet you tomorrow. So uh, we'll set it up tomorrow at 11 a.m. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you so All much, right, Nate. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. I appreciate so, it. I am a little bit worried. Um, do you have any nice clothes or anything that would be like fitting for a job interview? No, I lost all my clothes when my wife took the house. Okay. Um, well, I have a free day, so really? if you want, yeah, we can go to the store, get you a nice outfit. Um, I could take you home, get you washed up and Wait, take take me home where? To my house. I only live a couple of blocks down from here. You really gonna take me to your house? Yeah. You I mean, sure? You seem like a really nice guy. You, you know, I trust you. In a sense. <laughs> I just really want to help you, and I feel like if that's what it takes to help you, then I'd be willing to do that. I appreciate. It. Can we can can we go to the subway first so I can get a five dollars? Oh yeah, of course. Subs? Come on, let's head to subway. Um, Wait, do you have a boyfriend? Um, I'm single right now. How come you're single? Um, I mean, I don't know. That's actually a really good question. I, I, really? I don't really have an answer for that. I feel like somebody as caring as you should be in a relationship. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to find men, especially out here in LA, in my opinion. Yeah. I don't know, it's, it's everyone's for the streets, to be honest. I just want something real, so I'm just- You want something it. real? Yeah. Well, I hope you actually find that. Thank you. But I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm actually not homeless. I actually do social experiments on people to see what type of people they are. And I saw you walking down the street, so I felt like you would be the perfect person. But, um... <laughs> I feel like I've seen these before. For real? Yeah. This is actually my car right here. That's your car? Yeah, the McLaren. <laughs> Why did I not know that when it's literally and right if here? If you look over there, you'll see bees recording. Oh, that's literally so embarrassing. You guys caught me on a crazy. Nah, but it's crazy because you actually like seen me on the street homeless and you offered to help me. You literally like took the time out of your day to help somebody. And then on top of that, you actually called like one of your, that was your friend, right? Yeah. You called one of your friends and you offered to like get me a job interview, which is tomorrow. So that's like mad crazy. But you should probably call him and tell him, like, it was a joke. But, oh, um, like, hold on. Do you still want this job in No, nah, but okay. for real, though, I appreciate you for yeah, doing no, that. No, of course. Of and course. do you have, like, a cash app or something? Um, 
Yeah, I mean, but I'm gonna cash that PU money for like helping me out for real. Okay, you don't have to do that. No, nah, I'm gonna do it just because like. Okay. It's rare to find good people out here, you know. Okay. So I appreciate you for of doing course. that. Well, have a good day. <laughs> you too. I can't believe you got me like that. <laughs> I got you good, huh? <laughs> have a nice day. I am not your typical, way typical. You gotta watch your energy, cause we were real reciprocals. That was so clear, sure they thought they was invisible. Full of proof the vibe, butterflies when the money come to mind. Money, money, make me.